So CD5 B cells, we've talked about them a little bit, but they're what I I, I, don't, I don't really think Ernest Haeckel or Haeckel was was right. He was clearly proven wrong, but it was the best wrong idea I think that anyone's ever had. I, I really wonder if these are vestigial type structures um, that show kind of where we came from if, in some extent that have kind of held on for some reason. Um, but these are characterized by high levels of surface IgM with really no IgD. The presence of CD5 is an inhibitory receptor. This is going to downregulate BCR signaling and prevents the responsiveness to the same self-antigens required for positive selection in the bone marrow. For positive selection in the bone marrow. This produces natural antibodies without antigenic stimulation. So they just produce antibodies and then don't even need any one to tell them what to do, how they do it. And this right here is what really makes me wonder if they were a vestigial structure, because I imagine antibodies were first created and then um, that gave the short benefits and then the long-term benefits did, were not very good and we had to find ways of developing them and controlling them. But this participates in T-cell independent antibody response. This as well kind of makes me think that's a vestigial thing. Primarily in the peritoneal and pleural cavities and this contributes very little to the adaptive immune response. So they're characterized by the fact that their development in the fetal stage and early in the postnatal periods again makes me think that Ernest or Ernest, I don't know how you pronounce his name, the German guy that uh, he fucked with the drawings of, de of human development um, and then killed himself a couple of weeks later. But he was he had a good idea that as the body progresses and as the body develops, it kind of shows up all these vestigial structures of its evolutionary past. And um, that's what I'm feeling like with this. So there's less receptor diversity compared to the other two types of mature B cells. It uses only the D proximal VH gene segments, limited accessibility of the RAG recombinase during fetal development, and then almost a complete lack of junctional diversity because fetal cells do not express TDT. And again, I just feel like these are vestigial structures. If they have a function, I really don't know too much of what that is.